Hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? What is up, guys? How's everybody? How is everyone? I think I posted. Okay, I posted in Discord. We're good. We're good to go. What's up, guys? What's up, Lucid, RJ, Gregor, Dubs? What's up, everybody? Armin? It is good to see you guys. It is good to see you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, here we are in a C-130. We finally have a C-130 with a cockpit. So here's the cockpit. Thank you, Lucid. Appreciate it, man. My day's good. What's up, Veneno? My weekend was good, man. Thank you. Wish my parents allowed me to have Discord. It'd be like that sometimes, man. It's okay. Is this the same add-on? It is not. Thank you, Yuji. Appreciate it. This kind of, kind of you say. Not the same add-on, guys. Okay, so let me tell you a few things about this. So I, first of all, I've never... Well, I flew in for a video yesterday, but I was like, a, oh, I need to fix this. I have my thrust lever set to something weird. Let me fix them real quick. My thrust lever is all screwed up. Let me bind my third one. I had to do it for um, for that weird plane. Let me go to throttle and then um, throttle three. Okay, validate. Let's see if that works. That should work. Okay, apparently it does not. Oh, what? Oh, I need to be reversed. I think I have it ro the wrong way. One sec. Must have it the wrong way, huh? Oh yeah, there we go. Check reverse act. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't reverse. Okay, here we go. Whoa! What is going on with my... What is that? Are y'all watching this? Telex, thank you so much for the, uh, the dollar, dude. Thank you, man. What did I do? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me restart these. What the heck did I do, man? Wait, wait, wait. Let me go to throttle. Let me just bind them all to the same thing, okay? Throttle four axis. I'm just gonna use, oh, whoops, let me not do this. I'm gonna use one throttle. Okay. Oh, zero, oh, maybe that's what I screwed up too. Okay. Throttle four axis. Oh, that's why. Let me uh, clear current input, okay? We need just throttle three axis, not zero to 100, here we go. There we go. Okay, I think we're good now. I think I screwed it up. There we go. Okay, we're good now. I broke it. Are you going to fly the plane? No, we're just going to sit here the entire street. Okay, um, so here's the cockpit. I fixed my throttles. I don't know what was going on. Um, that was weird. Alerts are on. FDR, thanks so much for the $2, man. Thank you, dude. I don't know. Are the alerts not coming through, guys? Uh, are you streaming on Twitch? I'm not. Monty, thank you for the $2. Ireland, we can go to Ireland. Uh, I don't, the lurch should come through. Sometimes they take a while at the beginning of stream to like figure themselves out and then they work. Okay, skill issue before you even took an eye now. It's because I, I messed with my throttles for that weird plane, the uh, VTOL plane, and it screwed them up for everything. Okay, here we are, guys. Here we are. We're at KVLD, I believe, guys. KVLD. Monty, thank you so much. Everyone for the notice, thank you guys. I don't know why they haven't come through. I hope they do in a second. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know. Um, but yeah, here we are, C-130. So, for reference, guys, this is made by Captain Sim. But, Captain Sim, at least from what I've read on forums and, and Facebook and other places, in Flight Sim X, they had a really good, and P3D, they had a really good C-130. Their C-130 was actually not like their 777s and everything. It was, like, respected. And then they just kind of dropped the ball on Microsoft Flight Sim. So, this is a C-130, of course. So hopefully, it'll be good. And it was expensive. So, that's a lot. Should I buy a 737 Max? No, you should not. It's not a good play. Uh, it was interesting. NPC, I was mad at Lando for screwing up the sprint race, dude. Is it on Xbox? I assume it will come to Xbox, but it's not on there yet. This play was $40. Yeah! That's hard to do, man. Spending 40 bucks on Captain Sim is hard to do, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, let's do a takeoff here, guys. Let's do. Let's actually fly this thing. Gabriel, thanks so much for the dollars. There, the Gabriel's went through. Thank you, man. Gabriel Nyoki. I think it's fixed now. Ninety-nine cents. I think it's fixed now. 
Okay, we're going KVLD to KV80. Thank you, Gabriel, again. I appreciate it, sir. I'm going to put the map. I'll leave the map there so you can see it. Okay, are we ready? Increase throttles. Parking brake off. Here we go. My throttles are actually fixed, so that's good. Here we go, folks. C-130. First takeoff. With um, about 50% payload. There's 70 knots. These can take off really slow, so we should be able to rotate soon. Not yet. Okay, okay, not yet, not yet. There we go. A little over 100 knots. There we go. Gear up. Let's fix our trim, and then we'll check the gear animation. Gear looks pretty cool. That, that front gear on the C-130 is so interesting. So interesting looking how it goes up. Okay. Here we are. Get rid of some flaps here. Going 140 knots. Feels decent so far. We'll do some actual tests with it and see what happens. What's up, Jewel? How are you? Low level. Oh, yeah. We should fly through some, um, like, mountains and stuff really low. That would be fun. We should get the, uh, what's it called? The Thunderbirds livery, too. I don't know if there's liveries out for it yet. Bye, Casey. I'll see you later. Sorry, guys, if I was uh, ignoring all at first. I was trying to fix that throttle thing, and then I don't know. But we're up. We're up, and we are working. A beginner's guide to what? The sim or what? How do I use G's? Read the description of the mod. Look at that. Looking nice. Looking nice. Um, the cockpit look, is, uh, overall looks good. Like, the textures are fair, you know? Definitely nowhere near the worst textures I've seen before. Um, doesn't look just like a port or something. Like, look at the wear on the, uh, it's like a glare shield, I think. Pretty cool. And I love the visibility scene with her. Like, look at these windows. Like, you get almost, you get like a 180 degree view, and then maybe, you know, 80 degree, not 100 degrees up and down. Maybe more than that. A lot, you get a lot of degrees. That's all I'm saying. Okay, KVAD is where we're going. I've never done a normal landing in this. I Let me get rid of these flaps completely, too. Never done a normal landing in this, so this will be uh, interesting to see how it feels. It will be interesting to see how it feels. There we are. Yeah, I do love... The visibility is so cool. Like, look at these windows everywhere. That's so cool. My weekend's good, Cam. Thank you, man. Is it worth the money? Uh, we just started flying it, so... I would guess probably not. Any of my captains in for 40 bucks, that's a lot of money. What is better about this game than X playing? The multiplayer mods, the amount of people that play it, it's on Xbox. Uh, physics are lacking though. So X Plane has better physics. Say so X Plane is better physics, Microsoft Flight Sim, most other things are better. Maybe performance, it probably has better performance, X Plane, like as far as frames and stuff. I bought this straight from Captain Sim. Because it's not in the in-game shop yet. Can't put 100% throttle on the Darkstar and the F-18. Uh, you need to bind something to um, Afterburner. Bind a button to Afterburner. You have a C-17 to compare. Uh, to compare what way, though? I mean, they're different planes, so you can't really compare them like that. You know what? My side stick won't work on Xbox. Probably not compatible. Fat Albert Libby? Yeah, that's what I was saying. We should do that. Okay, let's get some flaps. Our, we're right next to our airport here, flying parallel. C-160 and C-130 doing different tests? Could. Yeah, the C-160 would be a much better comparison. Your order Chinese food here, huh? NZQN? Uh, probably not. New Zealand kind of sucks for flying because the airports are so far away from each other. Unless you're in, like, fighters or something. You speak Spanish? No. Would you pick X-Plane over Microsoft Flight Sim? No. Should you have a plane spotting at Royal Air Force Base? Yeah, do it, man. Is the cockpit worth buying? Uh... This thing's 40 bucks, man. I can't imagine it's worth it overall. What's up, Jay? How are you? Montrose Regional Airport. Okay. That's where we're landing. This is Moody Air Force Base, guys, in Georgia. So I guess it's an appropriate spot to land. Is there an AC-130 variant? No. There is not. What's up, Tiago? How are you? I mean, when I put 100% thought on my panel, F-18 says 75. Yeah, you need to bind uh, afterburner. Because when you go afterburner, it should go to 100. Got to bind that thing. I believe the, the Dark Star also has a thing where you have to bind the afterburner. It won't turn on unless you do it. Should I get the AT3 from in-game marketplace? Uh, the LFVR one? It's not bad. 
LVFR. What did I say? I explain planes are a crap ton of money. It's annoying. I mean, planes in this are good. Planes in this are are a lot of money too. I think X plane probably the average plane is much better as far as overall quality. Obviously, the whole sim has better physics, but the planes as well. The average one is definitely you know better. It's kind of like you know DCS like DCS. There's not just like a bunch of random developers who are trash that get to add planes to DCS. Like every plane in DCS is good, you know. When does it come to Xbox? No idea. Yes, it's good. Yeah, DCS is good. What language do you speak? None. English. There's human 30s at Moody. Nice. Okay, here we go, guys. I mean, I'm sure there's been at least a C-130 at every U.S. Air Force Base. But here we go. Let's see. Average is better because MCD brings the average from Microsoft down a lot? Yeah. I mean, not even just that. There's a lot of bad developers in Microsoft Flight Sim. How to fly with you. Type X fish point fly. You're on at 3 a.m.? I don't even get on at 3 I don't play. I haven't played DCS, DCS in like, I don't know, since the last time I messed around with F-16. I don't know when that was. Okay, let's get full flaps here. What is the better game ever? Flight Sims or just games in general? I say your last, my last name is pronounced Rhines. Here we go. There is our destination. Getting some flaps out here, guys. Gears out. See how this first landing ever goes. Or first normal landing ever. Nice, uh, Lil Grimp. Nice, man. Hope you enjoy, sir. How do I join your game? Type X Mission Point Fly. Or wait for in chat. It'll say how to play multiplayer with Aaron. Click that link. Does it have good physics? We're going to try to find out today. We're going to try to find out, find out today. The C-130 is insane, though. I was doing some research for a video that's coming out tomorrow. It can take off with a full payload on a 3,000-foot runway. Meaning it can, it can get off the ground well before 3,000 feet with a full payload. That's insane. That's actually insane. That is actually nuts. Okay, here we go. I will have some. Don't worry. Thank you, Nels. Let's have good physics. We're going to try to find out today, guys. This is our first flight, and all we've done is take off, and we're about to land, so. Uh, I love the C-17 on Fly Sim. To you. I think it can fly a little too slowly. You can fly, like, at, like, 80 knots. Maybe even less sometimes, but it does feel good to fly. It's a fun plane to fly. C-5 or C-130? C-5. C-5 is sick. C-5 is such a cool uh, plane. I can't wait till there's a C-5 in the sim. One's supposed to come, but I don't know when. Feels a little bit, um, what's the word for it? Um, kind of like we're just getting blown in the wind here. But there's like no wind. A little bit wafty, if that makes sense. It does create a lot of lift, and we are going slow, though, so that's somewhat to be expected. Let me refresh or reset my camera view. Definitely, it needs a kind of a lot of uh, inputs. It's not super... Like, some planes kind of fly themselves in. Definitely kind of a... Uh, gotta be a little bit ginger with it, you know? Here we go. Let's see if we can land right on the 1,000-foot uh, marker. Probably won't. I'll probably float, knowing me, but we'll see. See how I'm getting a little off-center? Definitely need a decent amount of uh, inputs there. It was not a bad touchdown, guys. That was not a bad landing. Whoa. Not terrible. Not terrible. There we go. That's that. That is that. Pretty cool. Well, listen, on Saturday, I did stall mover. Nice. No, he does not, Hamza. No shot. I don't believe that. There's no way. Uh, Qantas 32 story. Is that the one where it didn't actually crash? That wasn't terrible. But you've been on the F-35. In real life, it's cool. In the sim, it's not my favorite. I think it's getting a sound upgrade, which should make it a lot better. I think it's getting a sound upgrade that should make it a lot better. And uh, hopefully, at least. See, this is me holding my... Um, I think my thing I have for reverse thrust is are we just feathering the uh sec. Let 
you see. Feather, okay. I know we're just going off the runway right here. I just want to see what if with this. Okay, so we feathered them. Let me let me stop and look at the props. This would be interesting. What brand is your computer? Uh, it's Bill. It's not like a brand. Look at that. Okay, so let's take a look at these close up when they stop. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can do them in the cockpit and then come out real quick. Whoops. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, I don't want to. I want to go in between. Ground stop. There we go. Three and four. One, two. Or on one and two. Okay, let's see. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Is that going to change our, our, our degrees or no? I don't know if I can when they're off either. I don't know. Okay, let's do another flight, guys. That was fun. That landing wasn't bad. That landing was not bad. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Bring back more refined turboprop airliners. Um, I mean, they have the ATR. What's up, uh, Jewel? Can you land in Geneva? Where I said we go Ireland. Let's go Ireland. Uh, it's an add-on, not a mod collector. Harrisburg International to Dulles? Yeah, yeah, I got you, Vino. We're gonna go. Yeah, they should. I can't imagine they don't, NPC. We can check, though. Okay, um, what's a pretty part? Donegal? Donegal? How do y'all pronounce that? Um, I mean, this is short, but... 2,000 feet? Definitely take off from 2,000 feet. No issue. What is this? Ga Galway. Let's do that. E, uh, actually, let's go up to here. Let's go up to this so we can fly over the uh, hills and stuff. 2,000 feet, we'll do it. We'll make it happen. Um, e I C A to E I C D. Runway 23 to runway 23. Dun Eagle? Dun Eagle? No, it's Dun Eagle. Dunnegal. Donegal. Um, okay. E I C A to E I C D. Let's go. Donegal. Donegal. What is reverse axis? Uh, it's whatever your reverse thrust is. It's the axis you want your verse thrust to be on. Where do I get it? Uh, just type in... Um, I mean, I would just buy it on Captain Sim's website. Again. I don't know where else to buy it right now at the moment. I don't know if it's on, like, uh, Just Flight or any of those things. I'm not sure, honestly. Honestly, not sure. Okay, let's uh, let's do live weather real quick. Let me get rid of that. I want to see what live weather's like. Is it decent? We'll could try some more difficult landings and see what happens. Oh yeah, the YouTube that's coming out. I did see something about that. How old are you? 27. Do you want to become a pilot? Uh, just a general aviation pilot. I don't believe that, Angel. Not in the slightest. Do not believe that in the slightest, man. He's making me mod. No. I'm doing good, MTX. How are you? Are you ready for GTA 6? Yeah, supposedly it's only going to come out on PS5 first or something. Like, what? I don't know, dude. I hope that's not true, but we'll see. Okay, so we should have some wind here. We should probably take off the opposite direction because I think we have tailwind if I'm seeing that wind suck correctly. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely got a, a pretty strong tailwind, so we're gonna try to make it a try to make it work anyway. We'll see what happens. I will not FDR. Nope. You cannot pay to be a mod. Now that works. Um, I'm doing good. Hydra, how are you? What's up, G Money? Dream plane. I want a um, PA-28 or a, like, some kind of TBM would be cool. Like, that's, like, uh, obviously, real dream plane. That's expensive. Um, okay, here we go, guys. Let's go. Static takeoff, of course, because we need it. Three, two, one. We had a little bit more flaps down the runway as well. Here we go. I should have downloaded Airshow Assistant so we could do flares. That would have been cool, too. That would have been cool. Okay. 70 knots. 75. I mean, that felt pretty good. Like, I wasn't going to get off the ground much sooner than that. I don't think no matter what I did. Obviously, we had Tailwind, though. But, I mean, that didn't feel terrible. 
Have you watched the Boeing documentary? I have not. Bye, Hydra. See you later. I bought it on Captain Sim's website. Kosovo, welcome in, man. We play X Plane Alive one time? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Didn't crash, but his engine exploded. Yeah, I probably won't. Usually for stuff like that, that's like a little bit less interesting. I only do it if it's like a current event, you know what I mean? Versus like uh, something that happened in the past. Okay, let's get a cool view here. You, yeah, you can fly in third person. Fly from wherever you want. Let's fix this trim. Dream car. I want a Mercy Lago SV, and I also want a first gen STI. First gen STI could happen soon. Mercy SV, I don't think so. Crash into something. Nothing really happens. What led you play Microsoft Flight Sim? Uh, I mean, I've always thought mechanical things are cool, like cars, planes. I'm not really into helicopters, but anything like that, like vehicles, are, have always been interesting to me. I heard there's a flight sim coming out that had the whole world, and I was like, well, I gotta try that. Fly the Bahamas? We'll see. Where do you get Microsoft Flight Sim? Anywhere. Anywhere you get regular games, pretty much. Yeah, let's get rid of these flaps. We have way too much flaps going on. Should I buy a Volocopter IRL? No. The thing's stupid, dude. Get the STI 1 mil subs on the second channel? That's like gonna be in like a week, dude. I, and the thing is, you can't just go... It's not like, oh, there's a bunch of them for sale, you just pick one. It's like, to get one you actually want, you just kind of... Either you can pay someone to import it for you, which I don't want to do. I want to get one that's already registered here. Or you can, you know, just wait till one comes up. I'm just going to have to wait. I did watch the Chinese Grand Prix. Yep. What's up, Viking? What's up, Glitch? How are you? Are you 25? No. Not 25. You ever played DCS? Yeah, I've played DCS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DCS, that's what it's for, Charlie. It's mainly just to fight people. Yeah, it'll have to be imported in there. There's no, there was never a US one here. So it'll be a right hand drive car, but um, it'll just kind of depend on when one comes for sale that's, um, that's one I want, you know? And it's the right price range and everything. Sell to Singularity? I don't know what that is. Stroll Ricardo crash? Stroll sucks at driving, that's what I think. Uh, there's not, Brainy. It's not going to run well either way, so it's not really worth it. Can I have a PC? Nope. When will you play x Plane Alive? Uh, I just answered that. Are you a full-time creator? Yes. Go to Sam something? Go through the Volcanic... I don't think Volcanic Clouds would show up well in the sim, which is kind of unfortunate. It would be cool, though. I don't care about MotoGP. I do not care about motorcycles. That's another thing I don't care about. Are you into cars? Yes, I love cars. What's up, Theron? How are you? What's up, Bose? What plane should they definitely bring the sim? Uh, the U2, which is coming. SR71, which is coming. YF23, which is coming. XP70, which is not coming, as far as I know. And I don't know what else. Top Mike F22 is worth it? Yes, I think it is worth it. I hope you get it. Enjoy it, dude. What's up, this guy, bro? What's up, V1? What's up, Pickle? Which model of the C130 is this? I think the H. The H, if I'm correct. Someone can look it up. I think H. Are you 27? Yes. Yeah, the YF23 will be sick, especially because it's by Top Mach, and their flight model feels really good. I can't wait for that plane. That'll be so cool, dude. Dude, we're going to have to do a bunch of streams with the YF23. That's like one of my favorites. That's such a freaking cool plane. What's up, Airliner? How are you? Model the 737 should I buy? I would say the Dash 600 because it's the cheapest, but it's just as high of quality as the other ones. So that's what I would say. <clears throat> Favorite plane's A225, nice. First plane you bought? I really don't know, dude. Probably something really bad because I didn't know better. What's up, airplanes? Today you have a birthday. Happy birthday, sir. I've never flown DC8, nope. Why do you like the B2? Because it's sick. You're behind me? Casablanca, those things are horrible. Do I know exactly what it is, Vino? No. You know that's horrible. I'm sure you can. I, yeah, let's see if we can. I've actually, I think I've done that. One sec. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Um, paratrooper door right. Did that open? 
Why is it like showing up and disappearing? Y'all see this? One sec. See, it's like showing up. Am I doing something? What am I doing? Ramp. Um. Can I really not open it during flight? That doesn't make sense. Entry door. Maybe I have to fly slower? Let's see if we slow down. What do you think, guys? Why would it not let me? I've seen other people use it already, so... Oh, escape hatch works. Where's that? I know we're about to crash because I just got rid of all our power. Escape hatch? I don't see no escape hatch. What the heck? Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay, escape hatch is open. We're over speed now. Okay, so that worked. Um, don't need any of this. Entry door, not work. See, why can't I... I don't understand why I can't turn the open these. I, I'll slow down and we'll see. I'll slow down and we'll see. Favorite hey, military planes B2. Ejection seat in the F-22. I mean, you can you like, you can kind of eject in planes, but it just like the seat goes away and the canopy comes off. But then it's that's about it. You know, try on the ground. I know, but it should work in there. That's the thing. I'm thinking maybe I'm too fast. You know. Maybe it needs a certain speed because obviously they wouldn't open certain doors at, you know, way too fast. And you wouldn't be skydiving going, you know, 300 knots either. So let's see. Let's see here. Try to name tag. I'm not going to because it's probably going to make it. Uh, are you going to get the tornado? Probably. Uh, there's no C5 in the in sim. Favorite airline is Korean Air. Okay, we'll add a little bit of power just so it doesn't. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Still nothing. 120 knots. You would think it could still... Okay. We'll go even slower. We'll give it its best shot. I feel like I'm just doing something dumb. Like, there, I got... Because I know this stuff works. Because I've seen other people do it. So my question is... Why is it not... Really, there's no way. It would definitely be able to open it at 115 knots. Like, no way. Flag. Turn the flag on. Uh, thank you so much, HJ. I appreciate Short it, sir. Super chatted uh, it's a whole new plane, my man. Cents. Hey, how do you get into cockpit PLS lander ticket? It's a whole different plane, my man. EKOD, I got you, man. I'll write that down. Thank you so much for the donut, sir. EKOD. Yep, I got you. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I, that's interesting. Let's go land and then we'll see. How about that? Our airport's right there. We'll go land and then we'll see if... Uh, it works. Do you have an A350? There's a free A350 that's not good. It's your birthday today? Happy birthday, man. Can I make fan art? I can't stop you. Okay. There is our uh, our airport. Let me turn on turn on head track. Oh, I turned on head tracking while I was looking to the left. That's a bad idea. Okay. There we go. That's where we're going, folks. Oh yeah, the uh, the rest of the cockpit looks pretty cool too. Like they have the spot bay for like a navigator or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, there's that open. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Shows that open up there. Is A350 coming? Ah uh, yes. I, who's making the Torsten A350? Lunges someone is. Torsten, thank you so much, man. Cents. Yeah, is someone's making one. Does anyone in the chat know the developer? Xbox. Try Vatim. No. I'll pass. This thing is forty bucks. So, I would say definitely, if you're looking for a cargo plane, definitely get the C-160 over this. But, uh, if you just got the money, you just want to spend it and spend it, you know what I mean? I just have to pick you, York. Favorite military planes? B-2 Spirit. Any builds. Okay, there you go. So, it should be, any builds kind of makes, I would say, middle of the road mods. I guess higher than middle of the road mods for, for Microsoft Flight Sim, but it should be middle of the road. Do you know what I mean? Like, considering there's so bad, so many bad developers for Microsoft Flight Sim, they're definitely above average. But uh, they should be about middle of the road. Plane should, should they definitely bring to the sim? Uh, I just answered that, Sharers. If you go back, like, maybe a minute. I think I listed, like, four or five. Yeah, P3D? No, I don't. Laggy? I think it's your PC, my man. I have zero drop frames over here. Zero drop frames over here. There it is. We're going to go around and, uh, and come land. Uh, probably not your letter. Digital Flight Dynamics is making A352, really? P3 
Orion. I think there's a there's a mod for the P3 Orion, right? I think I've used it in videos. I don't know what this is exactly. I, who knows what this is? It looks like some maybe navigation thing or... I mean, because that's the degrees, right? So it's like a compass, but I would assume it's not just a compass because that's huge for... You know, I don't know. Because we have our compass here. I don't know. Someone, I'm sure someone knows that. Ray, someone with radar maybe? Yeah, I guess it could be. Would you want to be a pilot IRL? Uh, I would like to get my PPL, but I don't want to be a commercial pilot, no. It was made by Captain Sim. So you know what that means. Tracks and uses radar. Gotcha, okay. Put replays on? I do need to. Maybe after this flight. Old school navigation. Gotcha. Track stars and shit. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. That was for, uh... What else used that? Did Concord use that? Something with stars? What plane was famous for using, like, stars for navigation? I don't know. I guess they used stars for navigation, you know, hundreds of years ago on boats, so... It's not really that shocking that they would use it on planes, but... Still cool to think about. Okay, here we go, guys. This landing, I feel like, is gonna be bad. Got a little wind. Oh, look at that. Look at that high alpha <laughs> F-22 right there. Okay, we got a little wind. Let's try to get centered here, and, and we'll get in there. I'll land a little faster. Santa's sleigh? That probably, too. There's a typhoon upside down right there. Do y'all prefer when I have the head tracking on so I can, like... I think when I'm actually just looking at the plane, it's nice for you guys. But then when I look at chat, it's just showing, like, to the right, you know? Tupelev did. Okay, I did not. Okay. Isn't it crazy that you used stars for navigation, like, hundreds of years ago? Isn't that nuts, dude? People were... Obviously, people are smart now, too, but... It's crazy to think all the things people could figure out back then with no, like, computers and stuff. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. I don't feel great about this one. Landing a little faster for sure, which is, uh, needed. Okay. I'm not going to worry about these trees because no way these are here in real life. Romy's got an X on it. We don't care. Get down. I need to get down quick because we start to floating. I don't want to float here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not quite a stop. I mean, it doesn't... I, I'm not going to lie. Physics-wise, it doesn't feel that bad. Straight through a car. Don't worry about the car, guys. Don't worry about the car. Physics-wise, it really doesn't feel that bad. It does not feel terrible. Okay. Let's uh, put this thing here. <clears throat> okay, we have to go to that other uh, airport that someone... Uh, a lag or my internet bad? I think your internet's bad. I don't have any drop frames. Um, Probably eventually, Cyrus. Longitude, yeah, it has its reverse thrust is um Chaltivation super chatted two dollars and forty two cents. Is it now is it a, now bad, a bad, plane? bad plane? What do you mean by that? It's not it's not really terrible. It's it doesn't feel that bad. Yeah, EKOD, yeah, yeah. I have it written down. We'll go to EKOD. We'll land. They wanted me to land there. Thank you so much, H J. Yeah, I mean it's not physics wise it doesn't feel that bad. As far as systems and stuff, you gotta watch someone else for that. Y'all know the rules. Okay, EKOD. Hans Christian Anderson Airport. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, there was a little bit of crossing. It wasn't terrible, though. I'm good, Maverick. How are you? I do recommend Microsoft Flight Team, though. Favorite military plane? B2 Spirit. Okay, we're going to land here. How can you leave your plane like in creative mode? It's called slew mode. I'll look up like on YouTube, like, how do you slew mode? Microsoft Flight Team or something, something like that. We have to try to land this thing like on an aircraft carrier or something too, guys. Yeah, look, it does not. It, Ed, what are you smoking? It looks like M scenery. No, it does not. That's insane. That's a crazy thing to say. Doesn't look, don't, I mean, M scenery is, yeah, it does not look like M scenery. That's crazy. Okay, let's go across the water. Why not, guys? We'll depart from one of these. Are any of them asphalt? No. We can do grass, though. It is a C-130 after all. Okay. 
EKFO to EKOD, runway 26 to runway 24. F86 Sabre. I have not bought the F86 Sabre that's in the sim because there is um there is a mod for it, and I don't really have a reason. Oh yeah, check we'll check the doors before we take off. We'll do it before we take off. But like, why would it not let me do it in air? That's the weird thing. It literally said paratrooper door left and right, and you can't open it in the air. That's weird. Oh, uh, we did Valdosta at the for the first flight, random actually. Okay, here we go. Okay, back in here. Let's check, uh, let me turn this off just so I can just focus it on here and we don't have to think about anything. Okay. Okay, so it does work on the ground. That's interesting. So here's the, uh, here's cargo opening. There we go. Looks pretty good. Let's make this slower. Turn speed two. This actually looks pretty good. Like, textures-wise, the it actually looks pretty good in here. It does look pretty good. Look at that. It's not bad. Some little doors and stuff. Then, uh... Come in here. Don't really know how uh, this works. I guess this, this whole thing moves? I don't know. How does that work? Oh, yeah, it's like a door. Okay, okay, okay. It just looks weird under here. Okay, so there's the door that you get into uh, the cockpit up there. And there's a little bunk thing, maybe for someone who's injured. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad in here overall. It really doesn't. Okay, let's open everything though. Oh, so I these I'm, sh I'm just, I need the engines off. Access hatches, refueling toolboxes, flag. And what is flag? Because flag opened in the... Um, Flag opened in the air. You can see the radar and stuff too. It's pretty cool. Let's see this. Airplanes taste good. That's crazy. Okay, there's the uh, escape hatch. Here is something for oh for external power. Okay. Um, there is to get in a different way. Here's our radar, which is moving. Pretty cool. Not the best textures in there, but it doesn't look bad either. Stuff for the pedo tubes. Um, what else we got? This door's open. Um, fuel. That's cool. And yeah, pretty cool. It's always nice when they add stuff where you can um, Make the outside everything open and stuff. But I really don't know why those doors wouldn't open. I don't know why. Oh, that was the window here. I don't know why they won't let you. Let, we'll, t oh, we'll do this. We'll take off with the uh, the ramp open. But I don't know why you can't open that mid-flight. That's weird to me. The dogs that flew on their own United Polaris seat to Tokyo. I did not hear about that. Yeah, I know. There's a freaking building there. We'll slew mode back a little bit so we have a little more space here. Let me get to the side. There we go. We'll take off with uh, more flaps than normal as well. Oh, so when I slew mode and come back, it just closes the door. I want to open. Open this thing. We need to open. Whole flight. We'll do the uh, paratrooper doors as well. There we go. We'll leave it all open. F-35 is cool. Best budget fighter. Honestly, there's. it seems like all the good planes are kind of in the same price range, as far as fighters at least. You're going to pay like 30, 35 bucks. There's only one livery with this, guys. Um, I assume you can't ban annoying people, guys. Goodness gracious. See, that's why I wouldn't mod you, York. York said, mod me so I can ban annoying people. Can't get banned for being annoying. Okay, parking brake off. Here we go. You've heard of simple plans I have. For animated... There is, the C-130 has it, model. That, that C-130 is good, dude. It has... Paratroopers, it has flares, all that stuff by default. Okay, here we go. Trying to take off. Short grass runway. Avoid these little buildings over here. Uh, Cerritos mid-air collision? I've done some mid-air collisions, Monty. I don't know about that one. I'll look it up, though. The Cerritos mid-air collision. I'll look it up. Okay, gear up. I'll check it out. Sounds interesting. Did the ramp close? Um... Yes. What? 
So the ramp and the, the doors for the paratroopers close by themselves. I wonder why that is. Does anyone know? There has to be a, there has to be a, a reason. I'm, I feel like I'm just being stupid, but there has to be a reason, right? Don't y'all think? Like there's no way it's just, there's no way to open it when you're flying, right? No way. Some sort of rules for using it? You're flying a C-17, nice. And the airliners they built? Yeah. I think a lot of the work for this was done for the Flight to Mex one though, so it wasn't, maybe it's a speed. Dude, I went 100 knots in the air and, uh, in, and um, tried to open it, wouldn't open. Why is there a house in the middle of the runway? Ignore the house, dude. Let him live where he wants. AOA, I don't think it's an AOA thing either. I'll slow, okay, I'll slow down again. We'll stay full flaps. I'll slow down again and we'll see if we can open it uh, like this. I guess it could be an altitude thing, an airspeed thing. I don't know, but we'll try it. My landing gear is closed. It's, it's saying it wants me to put it down because we're going so slow and we're close to the ground. It's not, it doesn't want me to put it up. Okay. Um, let's get our trim up a little bit. Idle throttle. So there's 120 knots. Can't open it. 110. Can't open ramp either. We're about to freaking hit the ground because we're so slow. Hundred no, you like you can't. <laughs> There's a hundred and one knots, can't open it. Ninety-seven knots. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Honestly, don't know. We fix next update happens on um It happens on big projects to we get wait, what mo oh you're saying you saying it's a bug? I don't know, it seems deliberate. Am I too late for what, man? It's a cool plan, dude. Did I see the last Air India 747 flight on radar? I don't know. Did you? Just play simple planes? Do a barrel? Yeah, we can do roll. We can try to act like we're uh, the, the uh, Thunderbirds one. Big Albert, Fat Albert, or whatever it is. A coding error? You think so? Maybe so. I'll check it out, Del. I haven't seen it yet. I'll check it out. A minimum height? Uh, no, I mean, we were last time, Andres, we were high. We were at, a few, at least a few thousand feet. But I mean, even then, you should be able to open it, right? Either way. I mean, have you all seen those videos of people sitting at the, uh, like the edge of a C-130 or C-17 with the door open? Okay, we'll get a little, a little altitude, a little airspeed, and we'll try to do a, uh, a roll here. He need to switch. He did it this way because of testing, probably. You think so? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the sim recently, Dell. A lot of stuff. Install a master caution button in your setup. Uh, I'm sure you can. I'm sure. I'm sure they make panels for it. Probably. You could probably just set it to like a stream deck too. Why is it so slow? Because it's a C130, dude. Could just be a bug. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well let's try a roll. Y'all ready? 150 knots, probably a little slow for this, but uh, I feel like we're gonna lose a lot of altitude. Okay, are we ready? Come on, baby. Oh God, that's not gonna work. Maybe some flaps, maybe some flaps, some flaps and some altitude. We'll try a loop as well. Does it guns? No, this is not an AC-130. This is just a C-130. You're done. You're done. Okay. Okay, we got 200 knots with full flaps. Let's see. You ready? I'm trying to loop. Should be able to do this, I think. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad there. Okay. Now, let's go lightweight and try the uh, aileron roll again. Try the aileron roll yet again. Okay. Get a little more speed. Little more speed. Has proper collision and you can land on it, really? Chose one plane to fly for the rest of your life. What would it be in real life or in the sim? Okay, let's fix our trim. Okay. Flying up pretty level here. That's cool, Maverick. 
Thank you, Thomas. Can I see the Yep. You can get rid of this uh, curtain, too. A good side stick for Microsoft Flight Sim. How much you want to spend? It's a lot of good ones. Okay, we're not going to get a lot faster with uh, full flaps. Let's just try it. Are we ready? It just like won't even let me get over that. That we're just gonna hit the ground, but oh my gosh, yeah, it like won't. Even, no way, I avoid hitting here. Oh my, how did I do that? The full flaps definitely saved us there. Yeah, it's tough. Maybe higher altitude and um, more speed. Up to 300 bucks for a side stick. Um, if you're gonna fly airliners, you could get the uh, the Thrustmaster Airbus one, and you could probably get all four. Like you get the regular throttle quadrant, and then the flaps lever and the speed brakes lever for uh, 300 bucks. Probably get that. A vertical, uh, like a loop, Del. Um, can I go to sleep? Yeah, go to sleep, man. Get some rest, sir. Okay, let's get let's get back over the land here, and let's also turn on live weather and just see what it looks like. What's live weather like today? Why do they cost three hundred dollars? Um, why does anything cost what it costs? You have to choose one plane to fly for the rest of your life. I already answered that question, Alex. Thoughts on the TikTok situation? It's gonna suck. The Extreme three D Pro. I would buy something newer than that log. I, I know it's decent, but beyond that, I don't know much. F-18, I like the F-15C and the F-16C. For the F-14, uh, probably not today. A loop? Yeah, we just did a loop. I'll do it again for you. Loop is, it can definitely do easier than a uh, aileron roll. There we go. You can't even see anything. That's like, like flying over water is like dangerous if you're low. Show that PMDG 737-800, do it, man. It's a good plane. How large Dallas? I thought it was some random... It's, yeah, it's like the third or... It's like the fourth biggest city in the country, something like that. I think the third busiest airport in the world. You own a Porsche, I wish. A330 or A350? I'm not a big A330 fan, to be honest. Do a Cobra? It's not going to Cobra, but I mean, we can go like that. And then go like that. <laughs> MA Aviation, thanks for the dollar, sir. I appreciate it, man. MA Aviation, uh, I'm sure it definitely could, dollar. Joseph. Pretty much any plane can. If you go to 275,000 feet, A400, probably. That plane's a piece of trash, so probably. You ignore how their reputation's getting ruined. I mean, they definitely have some quality control issues. What happened if I swear nothing? I'm not going to do traffic circuit hit. <clears throat> NZQ. Have you been on a 747? I wish. I wish I had. Be cool. You're a fifth gen fighter? Probably the F 22. I'm not a real pilot, no. They should have the F 16 uh, Suba. I only see generic models. Uh, I own the planes, that's why. Uh, you can also get a mod, light sim traffic something. They let you see other stuff. And it's supposed to... A Cobra is like... Um, okay, so you're flying. You only do it in like certain fighters. Essentially, uh, you pitch up really fast and go zero throttle. And you kind of push through the air like this. And then you go full throttle again and level out. So you don't really change altitude at all. But you get like completely vertical. You're supposed to hit like a 90 or 100 degree AOA. And then you go back level again. Water landings? Is it free or is it you need to pay? This is not free. Yeah, 737 800 is a lot. I would get this Dash 600 if you just want a really high quality 737. I don't know, Airline I don't know. This is 40 bucks, Tom. Uh, not for a living 2D. For a hobby, though, yeah. I'd love to. Eventually. I would like to. It'd be cool to live in one of those uh, flying communities. I think the SR 72 is real? Uh, yes. I have low fuel. How do I get more? Click fuel and payload and then add more. Yeah, it's called the um, 
Pukachev's Cobra or something like that? It's named after the guy who did it or something like that. How can I join type exclamation point fly? It'll give you a tutorial. I'm not doing water landings. Next time you say that, I'm banning you. Because you said it five times in the past. You, I can see it on my screen at the same time without scrolling six times. I do not call that SR-72 the Dark Star because it's not the Dark Star. The Dark Star is the, the plane in the movie. The SR-72 is the actual plane that's being developed. Go ahead and do airliner pilot tube, Nato. Yeah, that's right. People, people freak out. They're like, well, the 737-600, you can't do real-world ops as much because it doesn't fly as much. It's like, dude, most people just want the experience, you know? They don't care about if the flight they're doing is an actual real world flight, you know. Can you do ASMR? No, I'm not gonna do ASMR. What's up, Tanis? How are you? Can you do an air landing? Yeah, let me stop real quick. Stop right here in the air. But I have all the multiplayer settings set. I can only see a few people in the sim. Uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, I'd believe that, Brian. What's up, Kilo? How are you? Favorite cargo plane is the C-17, probably. Yeah, we're flying with flaps. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing. Was there a shortcoming with the set of you? Do you need to remix it for my channel? If so, shortcoming. I mean, your setup's pretty insane, dude. Um, I don't know. I, I No shortcomings that I, that I could see. Comanche maybe convert. I like general. If I'm to fly by myself in the sim, I'm flying general aviation. I'm wearing the DT900 Pro X's. I think they're like 300 bucks. Like quavers? I don't know what that is. Will I ever get unbanned? If you're banned in the Discord, probably not. So Top Gun for the fourth time today? Goodness gracious. What was it land? We'll probably land at like 100 ish knots. We're really light. We could land less than that, honestly, but we'll probably land at 100 knots. Xbox has trouble. Gotcha. Okay, there you go. Choltivation super chatted two dollars and forty two cents. Aaron, may I use this for a video landing my local? Yeah, I don't mind, dude. Like, would you just put this landing in your video? Yeah, I don't care. As long as you add your own thing. If you just repost it. It's not going to do anything for you. But yeah, you can. You can. I don't mind. I'm new good Aladdin. How are you, sir? Entire perspective on generation change when we got the Comanche. I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, isn't it supposed to be like an absolute insane? What is an airlining? I was trolling. He was trolling too. It was a joke. How did you your server? Um, why does this always say bank angle? Because you're banking too much. Uh, join my server by typing exclamation point fly and it'll give you a tutorial. Come on, Aladdin. Real ones, no air landings. Tips for making videos? Uh, be honest with yourself that your videos are going to suck at first, you know, they'll get better, but don't, this is what, whenever I see people saying, oh, I've posted videos for so long, YouTube just, the algorithm just doesn't, YouTube just doesn't like me. No, people don't like your videos. Meaning, how do you, how do you judge if a video is good? If it gets views, right? That's the only metric you can really go on. Is a video good? Did it get a lot of views? If it got a lot of views, it was good. If it didn't get views, it doesn't matter what your opinion of the video is, it wasn't good, right? So if it's not getting views, change what you're doing, adjust, post again, you know? What's your setup cost? I don't know, I bought it all separate times and some of the stuff I got for free, so I'm not sure. What happened if I copy? You can copy my videos all you want, dude. Just don't, don't just repost my videos, but if you wanna do the same exact idea, go for it, man. What's the best plane in the sim or your favorite? Uh, PMDG stuff is good, Phoenix is good, and then Top Mock and the India Fox Tech F-14 as far as fighters, and then the Comanche uh, for general aviation. There's some other general, good general aviation ones. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Kyle, appreciate it, man. Yeah, that channel's doing well. It's gonna hit a million, like, probably next week. Yeah, a lot of people do that. They'll put a uh, popular sound in and put it, this audio on zero. I. I don't know if there's any confirmed evidence that that does well, but I know a lot of people do it. I, I've done it before. I didn't see a huge difference, but I mean, use everything to your advantage, you know? 
63 feet per minute with F16. Nice. I am, uh, Irfan, is that how you say your name? Yeah, general aviation is a lot of fun. It's cool because you get to go to really small, like, airfields, land right next to your house, like, do flights you would want to do in real life, like, by yourself. You're, you're fun, Joel. Okay, here we go. Coming in for landing. Got a longitude. How's that longitude going slower than 95 knots right now? What? Guys, can someone look up the Cessna Citation Longitude's landing speed? Man, was I was flying by him at 95 knots. Like, what? Unless he's got some headwind that I don't know about. Not the worst ever. Did we really bounce like that? How, how are we flying at zero airspeed? That was interesting. <laughs> there we go. Horrible bounce, but you know, it's okay. 145, 150. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How that thing's flying at, at 90 some, or 85 knots or something. 100 knots? Even then. What's up, uh, Dog Dab? How are you, man? How are you? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna do aircraft carrier, guys. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll do aircraft carrier. Why not? Didn't you have full flaps? 112 knots. I can't buy anything in the marketplace. Some people have told me that. I don't know why. Uh, I've probably done videos in Orlando before 2D. I'm not sure. Is the toy so probably a bit off? Uh, I don't know, Joanne. I already answered that. I'm not sure. What's up, uh, this guy? How are you? What's going on? We're just messing around, dude. Okay. We'll we'll do... Let's do... Uh, let's take off at Saba and try to land at St. Bart's. What do you think? Should we do that or should we do uh, aircraft carrier? It's up to you guys. Aircraft carrier or St. Bart's? What do we think? What do we think? How do you land the plane? Say so that's probably not really a question I could answer like that. Um, I don't know anything about. I don't have gaming laptops or anything about them, Brian. I'll just look up reviews on YouTube. Okay, everyone's saying a carrier. Let's go to the carrier. We'll take off from. Uh, should we land on the carrier or take off? Land. How about this? We'll take off and we'll try to land on it, but then we'll go to a. Uh, We'll go to Key West International. So we'll go to whatever this one is. K-E-Y-W. Okay? We'll land and take off, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go over here to actually land it. I do. I love the Thunderbirds, dude. I think regular liveries are cooler. Like, people like the, like, special liveries, like the Blackjack Typhoon. I like regular liveries that you'd actually see, like, in combat. That's cool to me. Dominican Republic? Yeah, we'll try both. Most realistic airliner you can buy. PMDG, um, there's no, there's gonna be a good 777 soon, but there's not yet. PMDG 737s and the Phoenix A320. Monty Python Queen Super Chat. Let me write that out, Monty. Monty, thanks next for the five bucks. From Koth to KRGB Sounds good, Del. Hope you have a good night, man. Next Take care stream. of yourself. Thank you for being here. Always appreciate it. I saw you streaming earlier today. I was lurking, by the way. Okay. You know a C-130 actually took off and land on a carrier in real life. So if I can't do this, I just suck. With no arresting cables or anything to launch them. So, here we go. Make it real light. Real light. Shut up, Ed. Don't scare people like that. Uh, what code? What are you talking about, Yuji? Okay. Here we go. F-111 on a carrier looks sick, really? Of course, Dale. Formation takeoff would be funny. I, I, I need to re-download. Um, I still don't have I still don't have a bunch of stuff downloaded that I used to. I need to download them before uh before next stream. Somebody needs to remind me in Discord. I'm just putting three knots of wind. This is um let's not have it be tailwind. Well, we can just have it be direct crosswind. Um, because the water looks stupid without any wind. Okay, here we go. The Comanche Brown. Comanche. Do I need to buy a carry? Uh, this carry is purchased, but we're going to fly to the other one, so don't worry about this. 
Should have gone to Sun and Fun. Is that in Florida? I saw that banana. It was super cool. Okay. Breaks off. Here we go. Here we go. This will be easy. Yep. There you go. Plane did it in real life, so you cannot be upset about that one. Okay, we're going to slow-mo back, and we're just trying to land it. We're just going to try to land it. Uh, it's, an, it's a payware fear. I would say for 40 bucks, there's much better planes. It's not, like, atrocious. I'd say this plane's worth, like, 20 bucks. It's, like, decent. But for 40 bucks, it's a, that's a lot of money. I would get the C-160 before I bought it. The C-160 is much better. I love that C-160. Okay, land as, as slow as possible here. This plane does not feel like it stops really as fast as you would think it would. Let me... Oh, gosh. Why are you getting blown around here? Don't hit the... There we go. That's rough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. How do we lose... Did you see, I was full brakes, and we lost... Like, 10 knots. Like, that's weird. That is a little weird. I'll try again. We have to add some headwind, but I'll try again. What are we facing? 95 degrees? Let's see. Not going to do that, Cyrus. 95 degrees. Will give us... 15 knots is actually reasonable because the carrier would be moving at the same time so in theory you'd get even more than 15 knots but we'll see what happens how slow can i really fly in this is it free is not free look at that aoa let's see look at that freaking 747 dude oh god this aoa is insane we're like 10 degrees Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. When does the new sim count? No idea. Trying again. Trying again. Let me get a little higher in here. There we go. I got the gear coming out. Calm down. 72. Okay, we can fly at 72 knots. That's good to know. Trim up some here. Definitely just wants to be kind of wafty. Not the easiest plane to, to pick the exact spot you want to touch down on that makes sense okay third time's the charm guys i hit the edge of the uh deck before 63 knots is insane okay here we go i put i'm pissed I put my gear out right when I spawned in. Okay, we need to... Uh, oh, it's trying to reverse thrust. Goodness gracious. How to enter landing challenge? You gotta be in Discord. Okay, now we should... Okay, just make sure we're spooling up. Are we spooling up normally? No, we're not. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. There we go, okay. 50, okay, we're just flying at 50 knots. We gotta fly it really slow now. If we know we can fly at 50 knots, like that's insane. We can, this should be easy in theory. Let's see. Okay, gear out. I, I officially hit the button. So if the gear isn't out when we land, even though it's telling me gear this whole time, then we know I've been screwed over. Here we go. 70 knots. What's up, JQ? Why do you not have the command? Why do you have the Wait, do you I do not have the command. No, I don't. I do not. I fly the um um what's the what's the freaking company? Whoever makes that PA28. I think it's like a $30-ish plane. 
That's what I fly mainly if I'm flying GA stuff. Here you go. There we go. Okay, much better. Definitely rough, but uh, much better. There we go. Okay, we're finally tipped. Okay, let's take off and go land at freaking uh, whatever it's called. This is a non-moving carrier. This one's non-moving. There are moving carriers, but this is a non-moving one. Okay, we're going to KEYW. Let's do it. To a tracing after this? No. We're not even going to do static takeoff. We're just going to go for it. We got headwind. Butter, you had a... Oh my goodness. That was at 57 knots. That's uh, interesting. See that method of finding the Gs and speed? I did not see that, Joseph. I need to check it out. Is it like a mod or something? Oh, we're facing the wrong direction. We got to go all the way around. All the way around. Should amphibious airliners return? No. It's so inconsistent. Like, if it's windy at all and you're getting, like, swells and stuff, there's no way you're landing. You know what I mean? K-E-Y-W-S. -E Trying to get F-22 Raptor on a PS5 and GTA. Any ideas or tips to get... Uh, I don't think there is an F-22 in GTA, isn't it? There's, like, that fake F-35 thing, but I don't think there's an F-22, right? Uh, it's okay, Kins. I would say it's okay. It's not worth 40 bucks, so I would say it's okay. What would impress you? I mean, it depends on what the challenge is, Neon. You can't just put any landing. You know, you have to follow the thing. Mm, got you for now. Uh, I do not, honestly, because I'm usually recording if I'm not streaming. Is there a Concord? There is. Yeah, it's crazy, Ryan. Is that free? Nope. Best Microsoft Flight Sim Edition to buy? Just the regular one. It's the Premium Deluxe and all the crap are not worth it. Uh, I, sometimes, Luke's. I used to stream on both, but Restream has been broken. Uh, there's only this one and then the other one that doesn't have a cockpit. So I would say this one over that one, but I would say for 40 bucks, neither of them are really worth the money. Why do you like the B2? Because it's the coolest plane of all time. How do you think they get? Well, it's a UG. It's a lot better now. I reinstalled my sim and it's much better now. I think they're going to fix the like, um, whatever problems there actually are with it. I think it's getting an update soon. Deluxe edition plane sold separately? No. You have to buy a deluxe edition to get them. They're not worth it though. To fly the paper plane, would you do it? No, it's not even installed. <laughs> Literally not installed. Not installed at the moment. I literally uninstalled all those stupid planes right after I did that, dude. That's not how that works, Neon. You see where they got the got 11 or 12 B2s flying together? There? I did not see that. What the heck? That's like 50% of them in the world. Thoughts on the Boom Overture? Uh, I don't think it'll be as successful as some people say, but I also don't think it'll be a complete failure either, you know? Okay, that's where we're landing, right there. I have Premium Deluxe code. I never use the Premium Deluxe planes, though. I'd say the only one that I like, actually, is the, um... Oh, what the heck is it called? I don't even remember what it's called at the moment. That shows how much I use it, right? Where can I get this? Uh, on Captain Sim's website. I I'm curious to see another one of these come out and see what it feels like flying. Like, a like I think Miltech or someone's making one. I don't remember who. Um... It would be interesting to get that one and see how it feels. Because this one, there's a few things that make me feel like it's weird, but I don't know, have anything to compare to you except the C-160. Okay, here we go. A little fast here. Could definitely go much slower than this, but... Off-center. Get on the ground. There we go. Smooth, but definitely off center. That was a terrible landing. That was a terrible landing. Yeah, I don't know how much I'd fly it. That's a thing. Because I do really like that PA-28. I just don't know if I'd fly the uh, Comanche that much. Uh, it, the, the more stuff you have installed, Armin, the, the longer your sim takes to, um, to open. So I don't want to wait. Like, my sim before when I had a bunch of crap in took seven minutes to turn on 
I don't want that, dude. The more crap you have installed, it's just... That's why you just keep the things installed you use a lot, and then if you need something else, just just, uh, just do it. I think it'll be out of the marketplace. Do other airlines? Probably not, no. Uh, they don't, Clipper. That's the annoying part. Okay, uh, we are going to do the, the other request, the K-O-T-H to K-R-G-B on next stream. I'm going to post it in my... In, um a specific channel um so i don't forget next stream we can do that next stream are you licensed pilot no um yeah i don't know it's it's okay i would say if you were gonna buy this plane normally i'd say like 20 bucks maybe like the cockpit looks good and stuff but you know beyond that it's uh, it's not really worth it to be honest dude I mean, you're just, but I mean, they did make um, the one for flights to Mexico was really good. But you gotta remember, it is Captain Sim, so it's like, how often is gonna get updates and stuff? Who knows? There's F-16. It's crazy how big the F-16 is, like how tall it is. It's not, a, he's not even a big fighter. Okay, thank you guys for hanging out, guys. Um, let me read everybody who uh, donated. I'll make sure I, I say all your names again. Um, Telex, thank you. FTR, thank you. Monty, Gabriel. Uh, HJ, uh, Torsten, HJ again, Monty, M Aviation, HJ again, and then Monty again. Thank you guys so much. You're very generous. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you guys have a, uh, a wonderful night, day, whatever it is where you are. And what is today? I don't even know what today is. Is today Monday? Yeah, it is. And a good, uh, good start to your week, guys. Um, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye, guys. Adios. Bye. Adios, adios, adios.